set across the ocean BDU for the Thanksgiving. Good morning, Blood Devils. I'm James. And I'm Noah. And we're in the Macy's Parade. Let's get right into the show. It's Thanksgiving week. Take a moment this week to thank yourself for what you've put into your life and gotten out of your life. It's your decision that makes so much in your life possible. You deserve to not only enjoy it, but feel grateful for everything you've done to make it happen. Your mental health matters. Hello, my name is Allison Morris. I'm the school counselor. Today I want to talk to you about mental health and how mental health matters. This is the holiday season coming upon us and while it may be a celebratory time for a lot of people, it is a difficult time for some people. So if you're struggling, need help, reach out to friends, family, reach out to us school counselors at your school. Have a great day! Here are some facts about the Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving originated in 1621 when pilgrims and the Wampanoag shared a feast to celebrate a successful harvest. It became an official U.S. holiday in 1863, declared by President Lincoln. We're excited about the upcoming concerts. Chorus performs tonight at 7 in the pack. Let's also hear about the upcoming band concert. Uh, so the Mooresville Band concert is going to be on December 3rd at 7 p.m. in the pack. Um, it's going to be consisting of symphonic band and wind ensemble, and we're going to be playing a variety of pieces. It should not last more than like an hour and a half. There are still spaces available for the travel club trip. We have all you need to know. Hey guys, we still have spots open for our Costa Rica trip in spring break 2026. If you have any questions about it, stop by my room, 8227. In club news, Science National Honor Society will have a meeting today at 2.30 p.m. in Lecture Hall A. Members should bring their completed service hour stamp sheets if they have finished all the required hours. Service hour stamp sheets are due by December 6th for all members. Drama Club will meet today and December 9th. Host set will meet on the second Tuesday of each month. If you would like your club to be featured or want us to announce a club meeting, please send an email here. We are all in here at Mooresville High School. Here are a few ways you can be all in. Hi, Mooresville High School. I am here to let you know how much I am thankful for you on behalf of myself and the administration staff. I love all the students and staff at Mooresville High School, and we want to know how much we're thankful for you. Now, I would like for you to spread that love and tell someone around you how much you are thankful for them and how much you appreciate them at school and at home. We love you, and we're going to miss you. See you back after break. All right, so if you have any uh, unused or unopened toys or you want to go out and do something good for the community and buy a new toy, we could, you could donate, the, donate it to the Toys for Tots here that we're running at the ROTC. Um, we have a box here in the ROTC room. We have one in the main office, and we also have one in the Magnolia office. Go to yearbookforever.com, search up Morsel High School, and place your order by January 25th. Mooresville High School is holding a Red Cross blood drive. The Red Cross blood drive is starting on Wednesday, December 4th from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. near Magnolia Gym. If you are 16 or 17, you're going to need a parent consent form to make sure you can actually donate blood. On Monday, we're having orange chicken or burger. On Tuesday, we're having mozzarella dippers or buffalo pizza. Have you ordered your cap and gown yet? Here's how you need to do it. Seniors, if you're going to shop your cap and gown, you need to go to srgrad.com. You click this and you go down to your school and then you scroll all the way to the bottom and then you'll be able to find your cap and gown and put your information and your size right over here. Ms. Hoff and the art students worked with the My Way program to create some beautiful turkey boxes for the annual Thanksgiving program. Crosby Scholars volunteered at EMIS for their Madnasium night. 
What a great way to get involved. Career and technical education provides students with the skills and confidence to pursue career options. Here's an opportunity you have available in CTE. In automotive, we were learning about doing electrical systems and wiring. So we were learning about Ohm's law, voltage. We were using voltage meters, testing how different wiring setups work, like how a wiring for dashboard or headlights would work compared to like a tail light or the light inside your car. The NJROTC recently competed in a drill competition. Let's find out how they did. I'm Deanna from NJROTC, and I'm going to talk about the drill meet. We play second for PT, third overall. Um, we did really good. We can improve on um, like memorizing things better and perfecting each move, making it snappier. But otherwise, we did really good. Let's see who Dax is with in this week's Teacher Spotlight. I'm here with Miss Parks. What up? And we're doing trivia. Woo! All right, first question. What country is also a continent? Hmm. Australia. Who is in last place in the ACC? Oh, why you want to go there? FSU. What is 9 plus 10? <laughs> 19. Wrong, it's 21. <laughs> So many staff members work hard each day to keep our school running smoothly. This week, we introduce you to Miss Byers. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I check final forms to make sure that everyone is in compliance for athletics. I schedule all of the buses for Mooresville High School, Selma Burke Middle, and Mooresville Middle. And I process physicals and make sure that everyone is coming to school every day because I run an attendance report. Let's check in with our sports anchors with all the action for the week. Welcome to sports, my name is Scar. And I'm Crow Dog. The Back to the Yard event was a great success. We were there to get some of the fun. We have an MHS student who has had the opportunity to get involved in the broadcasting games. Let's meet him. Hey, my name is Zachary Nowell. I am a freshman here at Mooresville High School, and I commentate for not JV football games on the PA announcer for that, and sometimes I'll go on the radio on the WHIP to um, color commentate the varsity football games. And that's it. So many students are involved in the Friday night football games. We were able to find out more about the ROTC Honor Guard. Here at Mooresville Under RTC, we have a very competitive color guard team. We do meets with the uh, drill team, and we also do a lot of ceremonial events. Just this uh, past weekend, we went to the Veterans Day Parade. We had a color guard there. There's very high standards for the team. Yeah, it's one of my favorite teams. Several MHS students have signed scholarships to go play at the next college level. Let's check it out. What's up? My name is Luke Modrak. I'm playing baseball at Lenore Rhine. Uh, Kinsley Ford, Montreat College, and I'm playing. So My name's Maddie Altieri. I committed to Belmont Abbey College to play softball. Check out some highlights from the recent Blue Devil Sports. We caught up with coaches and players to find out about the Blue Devil seasons. Hello, I'm Jace Barrier, and I got my 100th win. Uh, 
it was hard, but I fought through, and um, I love to uh, thank my coaches and family. My name is Naraya McKee. And I'm Chas Thomas. Um, I think our season is going to go good this year. And I think the same way. I think our season is going to go good, too. And I'm just going to give you the rundown of how the season went. So we started out with two losses, but we eventually dragged it back to come, I think, 10-2. and two. First round went really well. We played, played our hearts out. And then the second round, we unfortunately lost, but the season was, it was really fun. What's up, guys? It's Coach Burks here, uh, head coach of the indoor track team. Uh, so far this season, we've had a really great turnout. We've got lots of athletes out there, lots of multi-sport athletes um, doing great work on the track. They're giving me 110% of everything they got every day, and I can't wait to see what they do. Started off strong, and I know that it's going to be a great year. Support your wrestling team tomorrow at their annual Wrestle for the Cure. Let's find out about more. What are you guys doing for the Wrestle for the Cure coming up? So the Wrestle for the Cure tournament is a it's a wrestling dual team tournament where all the all the money raised goes to a family battling um, cancer, and so we just pick a family and we donate all the all the money to them. Thank you for joining us this week on Sports. See y'all next week. Bye. Now let's get into weekly media, covering global news to pop culture. I'm Aiden Herba. And I'm Andrew Coble. And this is Pop Culture. Moana 2 releases this Wednesday. The Arcane Sea Season 2 soundtrack releases today. And How to Train Your Dragon is getting a live action adaptation coming out June of next year. United Pilot orders 30 pizzas to feed passengers after an emergency landing for medical care. Welcome back to Song of the Week with Noah. The song of the week is Electrified a Night by Tommy Richmond. Take a listen. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Thanksgiving Day Parade. I normally just watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Football. The Macy's Day Parade. Yeah, yeah, explain your outfit. Oh, oh, my outfit. Uh, thrifted jeans, uh, Reeboks, and then the rest of it's thrifted from Value Village. Oh, All right. He, he? Yeah. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin wanted the wild turkey to be in a national bird for the U.S. instead of the bald eagle? This is thinking with Herba. As the holidays approach, take this time to put the world aside, share a laugh, and truly connect with the people who matter most. Thanks for watching the BDU. Bye! Bye.